Hello YouTube, this is Skip, coming to you live, Strata Brothers is Aquatic Kennel. Today is April 4th, 2015. I just want to document something. A little over two weeks ago, a couple of my mitas had laid eggs in this strawberry pot right before you. And as you can see, the eggs are still attached to the side of this strawberry clay pot. And they're still brown. I can't really get a close up on it, but you can actually still see the little black eyes on the eggs, you know, right before they hatch and turn wiggless. Now, the interesting thing about this, I have done this before. One time before, I didn't even know my fish had laid eggs in the strawberry pot and I poured it out of the water. And then a couple of days later, I noticed the same thing we see right now. Little brown eggs on the rim. So I threw the pot back in the water thinking that the other fish in there, the baby fish, would just eat the eggs for protein or what have you. But the eggs actually hatched. I couldn't believe it. They actually hatched after two days of being out of water. They hatched. So now, I'm conducting a little experiment. Since these been out of the water for a little over two weeks, I'm gonna place them back in the tank with warm water, no fish, and I'm gonna see if they hatch. And I'll keep you guys posted on that. A little scientific experiment. I doubt it because they've been in, they've been out of the water a little, I mean, just too long. Two weeks, I just don't think they can survive. Or I don't think that they're still valuable at this point. But just to see, you know, what the heck. Who knows? I might, you know, discover something no one else has ever discovered before. Because they're not like in the freezer or incubator or anything. They're just sitting on the floor of my aquarium, my aquarium room. And it's strawberry pie. So we'll see next time when I post this video in the near future. Wow, what an experiment. Okay, YouTube and aquatic community. The skip coming to you live. Strawberry R6 Aquatic Chemist. Right before you, still sitting out of water this clay pot full of fertilized eggs that's stuck to the rim of this pot. Now it's April 12, 2015. Now I did shoot a video last week, I believe it was April 4, 2015, documenting these eggs in this strawberry pot. That was in there prior to that video two weeks. So it's been almost a month now and these eggs have been dried out and sitting in this strawberry pot and hadn't touched water since they was laid by one of my mitre cichlids and fertilized by a mitre's pig. So now we're going to document this scientific experiment because we're going to see whether or not these eggs are still viable. If they're still able to hatch after sitting out of water for two months. Now, I explained to you before in a video I did back in April 4th that I have done this before. It was sort of by accident. But I had a pair of fish that laid eggs and I took the strawberry pot. I was moving stuff around. I didn't realize that they laid eggs in the pot. And the pot set out for 24 hours. And then I took the pot and put it in the other, placed it in the other tank with the other fish, and the eggs actually hatched. And the fish was eating the fry. I didn't even realize it. I was like, I was amazed. Because I didn't know that they could survive that long out of water and out of a tank without drying up and everything or just plain and simple dying. But it did work. But I didn't document it. I didn't know it was by accident. Uh, I wasn't even making videos at that time. So now that I have another unique opportunity 
to document this and this time it's even longer I'm really not expecting this to work I'm, I'm thinking these eggs are just going to get soft and pretty much dry up I mean pretty much get soft and just die or just dissipate within the water or bacteria that's going to consume them. but just in case they do hatch and they, they do survive this would be a first because I've never seen anyone else produce a video of this kind or a scientific research or project or study of this time of this kind on, on on the internet period this is a very unique situation we're gonna see if it work out and if it does wow if it doesn't well you know it was worth a try so now I'm gonna place it in this aquarium it's nicely warm and the aquarium is about the temperature is about 80 degrees I just set this up Let's see, place this pot in here. All right, pot. Hopefully it fit. Ah, yep. Fill it up with water. Let me turn the light on. Give me a chance to turn the light on. Oh, wow. Let's see. Wow. The eggs are still, you can't see them because they're wet now, so they look exactly like the strawberry pepper. They're still in here. Let's see if I can get over here in the light. Yep, there they go. So we're going to see. You know what I say, documentation beats conversation all day long. So these eggs hatch. This would be something new. Never have seen before, never done before by yours truly, Fish Lord One, as usual. So until next time, I'm out. Good morning, YouTube, Aquatic Community. This skit coming to you live. Shroud of Real Six Aquatic Kennels is April 13th, 2015, 4.36 a.m. And right before you is that strawberry clay pot that I showed you guys on yesterday. Well, I didn't show you guys on yesterday. I filmed yesterday. And as you can see, all the eggs have turned white. So, the, the experiment sort of worked out the way I thought it was. I was hoping that they would hatch though and it'd be something miraculous and something new that no one has ever seen before, but unfortunately it didn't work out that way. And I kind of knew it was going to work out this way anyway because those eggs were out of water way too long for those to still be uh, valuable eggs. But just in case, so we didn't know for certain. I went along with the experiment anyway. Now I mentioned in my other video before this that I once before took eggs out of an aquarium unknowingly and left them on and left the uh, eggs outside the aquarium without even knowing and moved the flower pot to another aquarium the next day. And the eggs actually hatch, and that is true, but I didn't document it. So if that ever happens again, or I ever be in the mood, I don't, I don't really want to risk this. So I probably won't ever do that again. And I don't recommend you guys, please, do not try this at home. Do not try this experiment because you're really pushing the envelope when you're trying to have a success rate of breeding. That was sheer accident. This one was purposely done just to see just for a scientific study. So I don't recommend this at home. I have done videos in the past where I've taken eggs from my buddy's house, my buddy Chuck house, some Buff Aussie Autumns, and brought them to my house and hatched them in my incubating tank. That's about the closest thing to this experiment that you can get. And they successfully hatched and I raised the Buff Aussie Autumns up and sold them. It's all on video, you can see it, it's documented. And like I said, documentation beats conversation all day long. 
but I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, yes, I'm back. I'm gonna make new videos. Make sure you check out my video on how I prepare my worms, my earthworms that I caught, and how I prepare them for uh, consumption by my fish. It's a good one. You know the saying.